Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, completed due diligence on the acquisition of GoPax on January 2nd and will re-enter the South Korean market. GoPax is one of South Korea's top five cryptocurrency exchanges. According to an official familiar with the matter, the acquisition was supposed to be announced around Christmas but was postponed due to final negotiations. Binance CEO Chan Ping Zhao was actively looking to re-enter South Korea after the company left in January 2021. Binance has recently completed due diligence on the acquisition of Copax. The discussions have reached the final stage as Binance looks to buy a majority stake from CEO Lee Jung, who has a 41.2% stake in Copax. Turkey intends to use blockchain technology for online public service logins. The Turkish government's digital government portal eDevlet will use a blockchain-based digital identity to verify Turkish citizens during login. Fuat Oktay, vice president of the Republic of Turkey, announced during the Digital Turkey 2023 event that citizens will be able to access e-wallet applications using blockchain-based digital identities. Oktay described the blockchain-based applications as a revolution for e-government efforts, adding that blockchain will make online services more secure and accessible. Users will be able to store digital data on their mobile phones. Hong Kong's financial service providers, including local brokers and fund managers, are seeking guidance in order to prepare for new licensing requirements that will allow them to provide services to retail traders. Hong Kong authorities may allow retail investors with a high market capitalization and liquidity to trade cryptocurrencies and virtual assets. Trading in the nascent asset class is currently restricted to professional investors with at least 1 million US dollars in bankable assets. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. Mumbai Indians issue RFP for NFT solutions. Race Network Labs and global fashion brand BHPC to launch Metastore. Russian Federation codifies the digital rubble as the official currency. Stay tuned for more updates.